Hey, good morning guys. I hope everybody's doing good today. Okay, so you remember yesterday I showed you that my setup is super simple. However, I have been looking for a small wire rack that I could make stuff more accessible instead of having to get in my tote all the time over these years, just taking my duffel bag down. Say good morning. Taking my duffel bag down and getting in there and getting it out. I want something that was a little more accessible because living in my car for me is long term. So I did find this one at Target and it was only $30. It's adjustable and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my shelf right about here and then I'm going to stack blankets up on the top. And then this gives me a kitchen area, a place for my jackery to set down on the bottom, my cords. And I think that it will fit right there perfectly. So I might be able to either remove my tote completely or just have more space. But anyway, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've just got stuff thrown in there for now. I'll show y'all what it looks like when I get it all put together. So I have my Jackery over there. I'm kind of weird about where I like my Jackery. I don't like anything to be pressed up against the cords because if something's charging, I don't want none of my cords to bend. You know, those things are expensive. So anyway, um, on to the finished product. Okay, so this is how it turned out. I opted for three shelves. You can do two, you can do whatever you want. So once again, I like to put my Jackery to where it's easy accessible if I need to get towards the back of the car or whatever. I do have a body heating pad that I plug into it when it's cold. It is up, it's underneath my mattress, my blankets on my mattress. I usually keep two gallons of water with me. I hang all my cords here, which I'm missing a few. Got to find them, you know, it's fixing to be time to use fans. And then I just try to keep my food sources simple. This is my pot for heating water. I will show it to y'all in another video. Soy sauce, hot sauce, seasoning, mustard. I usually try to keep mayonnaise and mustard packets, compliments of uh, Chick-fil-A, Whataburger, etc. And then food wise, I try to keep, you know, like I said, simple. Salmon, tur I mean, salmon, um, tuna, applesauce, cereal if I want to snack on something at night, and oatmeal. Down here, I just have my toiletries, um, aspirins, Tylenol, whatever I need to get to, extra toothbrushes, oxygen in case I'm at a high altitude. So that's it, guys. And then I do still have my, I opted to keep my, um, why am I losing my words today? I opted to keep my tub in here. It has extra overflow of uh, cords, food, etc. My duffel bag, my shower bag. And then I keep my clothes in packing cubes and I put them in between the door and my bed and it blocks off, you know, it's just an open hole and I keep these, I keep extra clothes in these and I swear by these things. So anyway, guys, that's how it turned out and I am absolutely happy with it. Y'all have a good day. I also wanted to add this to the video. I, um want space to cook so all i have to do is take these and push these back and i have space to cook boil water eat put my drink whatever so they're not going to where they're stable and then when i travel i just pull them back up here and i will have bungee cords from here to here on both sides to keep them from moving around so anyway i hope this helps y'all i will be starting a new youtube channel I'd love it if y'all could come follow me, and if y'all have one, drop it, and I will follow y'all. Y'all have a good day.